So a few years ago, I made this crazy contraption, also known as an articulating TV stand, which was made out of my favorite kind of wood, black walnut. Now that happened to be my favorite kind of wood because, well, it was free and it came from a tree in my neighbor's backyard. I'm sure some of you might be wondering, why would you want to make a thing like that? Because to me, the only thing better than a giant flat screen TV is a tiny flat screen TV right in front of your face. I guess it has something to do with growing up in a generation where it was cool to sit two inches away from your screen. You know, because we didn't have any of these big giant flat screen TVs and that kind of just, you know, stuck with me. Or maybe it's just because I'm losing my vision, I'm getting old. So for this project, I am using three, three foot by three quarter inch squared steel tubing and creating a step down swing arm with three pieces cut to 14 inches in length, two pieces cut to 12 inches in length, and one piece cut to 10 inches in length. Now the wooden one that I had made was really a functional prototype which gave me the opportunity to figure some things out. Plus I think it made for a really interesting video. Now originally when I started this whole adventure of creating an articulating TV stand, my objective was to use entirely metal. But I ended up using that wood because well it was free and I had an abundant source of it. So I managed to find this piece of steel tubing in my scrap pile. Unfortunately it was galvanized steel, but surprisingly it was a perfect diameter for what I needed. To ensure a good weld when using galvanized steel, you may need to grind away the zinc coating at the site of your weld. But really it depends on which method, arc or gas, and the type of rod you might be using. For this project I used oxyacetylene with ER70S TIG welding rods. Always make sure you have proper ventilation when welding, especially galvanized steel. When zinc vapor is mixed with oxygen in the air, it instantly becomes zinc oxide. Prolonged exposure may cause one to feel ill, similar to the flu. This is also known as metal fume fever, and will usually go away on its own. So to save time in the fabrication process, I decided I would use a store-bought TV wall mount from a local supplier. Here I'm using some Rust-Oleum Automobile Primer. I then grabbed the first can of spray paint that I could find, which happened to be this dark blue, which I guess isn't too bad, I could always repaint it later.
I don't know. I'm, I don't know if I used enough washers for this project. This is not a sponsored video, nor is it a paid advertisement. But it could have been. Hey, Brendan, how do you keep your beard so smooth and shiny? I use Cremo Styling Beard Balm. It styles, shapes, and nourishes my beard with a blend of beeswax, shea butter, and essential oils. Plus, it's made right here in the USA. Well, there it is, another functional prototype of an articulating swing arm TV stand. You know, for those of us who like to have our TVs right in front of our face. I'm pretty happy with the way this one turned out, although I do think that sometime in the future I may have to make a third one. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. You know what to do, and, well, we'll catch you next time. Uh, you know what to do. We'll catch you later. Whoops. Well, we're there, there. Ugh.